Uh, I thought I'd make this little bit of a video uh, to help you. You've probably done module two by now, so you've probably done a bit of this commentary with pedestrian crossings. But just to help you out, so pedestrian crossing in front, we're going to check our mirrors, we're going to scan the area around the crossing, and we're going to look at the box on the right hand side to see if it's illuminated. Because there's no pedestrians there and it's not been illuminated, we're going to continue at that speed. It's more than safe. So, like I say, I just wanted to make this video to, uh, to probably help you if you're, you're struggling a little bit with uh, understanding the commentary around pedestrian crossings. What we do is what we say, and that's how we're going to do our teaching going to give us a good indication of what we're doing when we're teaching people as well. If we can talk about what we do with a pedestrian crossing it's going to help you then to be able to teach your pupils with it as well. So I'm just going to talk about the crossings when we come to the crossings and what we're doing. So obviously we've got a traffic light and the traffic light has got a pedestrian crossing mixed in with it. So we're going to be scanning the area, we're waiting to see, we're looking to see what pedestrians are about and what the lights are going to do as well and whether the pedestrians are going to be crossing at the same time. It doesn't look like there is, uh, there is pedestrians waiting to cross but they don't look like they're going to be affecting me. So we're just waiting for the traffic lights to change. But now there's pedestrian crossing and the pedestrians cross to the centre of the road. And he's having to wait but there he's making his move look and that's what we're looking for that's going to help a student understand as well so there might be times when it does go quiet when you've not got a pedestrian crossing to talk about, that's fine. Just think about and reflect on what you've just been doing and what you've been saying. So if we look at the road, we can see we've got a zebra crossing. You can see the Belisha beacons. So we're going to check our mirrors. We're going to scan the area around the crossing. And because it's a pedestrian crossing as a zebra, we're going to just slow down that little bit because the pedestrians are priority. Again, we've got a set of traffic lights, we've got a pedestrian crossing on it, and this has got a puffing crossing on it. So it's just got the single green man or the single red man on the box. As you can see now, the, the red man's illuminated. But when somebody presses that, what's going to happen is it's going to stop the traffic all round, and that's going to let all the pedestrians cross. And then the traffic lights are going to kick back into their system. So why we're we waiting at the crossroads for the traffic lights to change? We'll be just scanning the area to see if there's any pedestrians coming up to the boxes that might be causing us to have to wait again once the lights change. But there doesn't seem to be any pedestrians. It seems quite clear. So the lights are changing and we're just going to move away. So that was fairly straightforward. So as we come around the corner we can see we've got a nice clear road. Uh, we've got to take into account things like weather so it has been raining but it's quite dry now so we've not got no thoughts of the road might be slippy but in front we've got pedestrian crossing so we're going to check our mirrors we're going to scan the area around the crossing can't quite see to the right and now we can so it's a clear view there's nobody standing there nobody's pressed the button on the right so we're just going to continue on through the crossing my speed of 28 miles an hour. So 
also we've got some central reservations in the middle of the road there's no pedestrians waiting there is a pedestrian at the bus stop so we just check the mirrors as the bus is well behind us so that's that's fine What's a central reservation? A central reservation is a safe place that people can stand and wait until it is safe to cross the road. The, the pedestrians do not have any priority and the drivers do not have to stop where there's a central reservation. But obviously if they step out onto the road before you get to them, then you do have to stop because they put a one foot onto the, onto the road. central reservation there's nobody standing there I've scanned the area I've checked my mirrors just in case and then again at the next central reservation there's nobody standing there so it's just a quick scan of the area knowing what's what's around again another central reservation followed by another one just after again there's no pedestrians it's green fields to the right hand side so there's more than likely not going to be any pedestrians crossing to that side unless there's a public footpath but it'd be good to mention that in your commentary as well so again scanning nobody at the central reservation and nobody at the next one so it's completely safe to keep traveling on through at the speed that we're at which is four miles under the speed limit See, we're coming down to a roundabout there's no pedestrian crossings on this roundabout but as we come in we're coming into a built-up area the speed's going to drop from 40 to 30 and we've got a pedestrian crossing straight away and the pedestrian crossing is outside of school so there's a possibility so again it's check of mirrors scan the area there's nobody at the crossing and nobody's pressed it because I've looked at the box again but because it's outside the school I'm just going to go through nice and slow and then again straight in front we've got a zebra crossing so again just scanning the area checking the mirrors there is a pedestrian walking towards it but he's not going to bother us so I'm just going to carry on through at that sort of speed. So unfortunately we've not been able to stop yet because nobody's pressed the, the button. But I'll continue on for a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see we've got a van in front stopped for the roundabout. because there's a shop we're looking to see what the pedestrians are doing are they looking to cross and no at this present moment they're not so as we come around the corner again we've got a school patrol sign so there could be a lollipop person but there's not at this present moment and again down in front we've got another pedestrian crossing so we're going to check the mirrors nice and early going to scan the area around the crossing there's nobody there nobody's pressed the button so we're just going to continue on through at the normal speed so we, again just in front we've got a central reservation there's nobody standing there, there's no pedestrians about, 
so we're just going to keep on going through. Again, we'll just check the mirrors to see what's happening. And the reason that we're checking the mirrors is we need to know what's behind. to the traffic lights again and we can continue. So we're continually scanning the area for pedestrians who might be crossing and the cyclist on the right who's looking like to cross now. But now we're looking ahead, we've got the zebra crossing again in front. So we're checking the mirrors just easing off there's a pedestrian coming towards it and she's going to cross so we're coming in to stop so as you see we scanned the area I've seen the crop the pedestrian and we've gone into first gear and we've come to a stop until she's completely crossed the crossing the pedestrians do have priority at that so we do need to be aware of that So you can talk about the weather conditions it's wet in places not too bad it's mostly dry it's quite sunny which could cause you not to be able to see the, the pedestrian very well and looking down the road we've got to give way to oncoming vehicles so we'll give way the cyclists can go through on the left hand side well worth noting to a learner driver checking the mirrors to move round and then we've got two central reservations in the middle of a crossroads and there's somebody just walked across it but he's now on top of the road on, on the path and looking down the road we've got another zebra crossing so again we can check the mirrors scan the area there's nobody looking like they're going to get to the crossing before me so I'm just going to go through that a little bit slower in case somebody runs out in front and then we can continue so if somebody was to be at the crossing and start crossing we would have to think about things like slowing down braking, changing down into first gear if we need to stop or slowing down and anticipating that the the lights or the pedestrians are going to be off the crossing nice and early. Okay, so just going to come back round here. There is another pedestrian crossing soon, so hopefully, hopefully, we're not guaranteed to stop, but hopefully. to 
bit of wear off there. There was a skateboarder on the uh, left-hand side. So again, looking down the road, we can see the pedestrian crossing. So again, checking the mirrors, making it obvious as well. And then we're looking down the road. There is two pedestrians approaching the crossing, so I'm just going to slow down. I'm going to change down into second gear. I'm looking at the box on the right-hand side. It doesn't look like it's going to press it. So it's all clear, so we can start to speed up again now. But we're just anticipating there, just in case they did start to cross. Hopefully guys, uh, this video will be of some use to you and you will have got something out of your, uh, your module 2 of your course book where we were doing the commentary on pedestrian crossings and you've now got some uh, something to refer back to with the short video that I just produced and uh, I look forward to seeing you on your module 3. Thanks a lot.